So here comes the controversial recommendation. If you are serious about weight loss and gaining power on the bike, your Rocky Fuel is gonna be refined sugar. So I could be in any UK supermarket right now and we're gonna have a look at the most effective foods, the best foods to increase your watts per kilo. Wanna lose weight and gain watts on the bike? Sweet, 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 sweet. Sweet tatties are your friend. The foundation to the food that we're going to be eating in order to increase our watts per kilo is lots of carbs. Lots of carbs. Carbs like potatoes. Potatoes especially, I love. I love sweet potatoes. So, organic if you can. But to be honest, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for, what, for the purpose that we want it for, increasing our watts per kilo. Sweet potato. Lots of sweet potato but any kind of potato will do. If only I had a back pocket in my cycling jersey that could fit a bunch like this. I'm gonna get some green bananas right now. I've got some ripe ones at home. And uh, yeah, gonna get these ripening. Before we go out for a ride, we wanna be consuming a lot of sugar. The more sugar we consume, the harder we're gonna be able to train and the more gains we're gonna make, the more adaptations we're gonna make. So the thing that people associate with diet and weight loss is restriction, restricting your calories, restricting the foods that you eat in your diet. But none of this is about restriction. All of this is about abundance and being able to eat more so you can train more and make more gains and more adaptations. So whenever you go out and train, you're gonna be creating damage to your body that needs to be repaired in order for you to go out and train just as hard all over again. So one of the biggest foods on my list that is high in antioxidants is gonna be berries, especially blueberries, I, I love blueberries. So you want lots of blueberries, lots of foods that are high in antioxidants that are gonna help your body repair itself so that you can go and train just as hard all over again, as fast as possible. You want lots and lots of greens. You wanna get lots of bags of kale. You wanna find a way that you can stuff as many bags of this into your body as possible. So whether that's putting it in smoothies or just eating it by the handful. Like, I can eat this. It's so delicious by the handful, just as it is. Foods like spinach and kale and beetroot, nitrate-rich foods that are going to be vasodilatory, are basically doping. Just uh, don't tell UCI. So if you can't get fresh fruit, you can't afford it, then tinned fruit is also a good substitute. So tinned fruit is going to help you lose weight and gain watts. It's gonna be your pre and post workout fuel. So here comes the controversial recommendation. If you're really serious, if your goal is to lose weight and gain power on the bike, then you're gonna to need to get a big bag of sugar. On those days that I wanna get most out of my time on the bike, who doesn't wanna get the most out of their time on the bike? We're all very time poor. This is your rocket fuel. But if refined sugar scares you, then these are good alternatives. Raisins and dates. It all becomes refined carbohydrate in the end. And if you want to work harder, go faster and make more adaptations, get more gains, then refined sugar is your rocket fuel. So this is about as much as I can fit in, a, in one supermarket shopping basket. But it's going to be everything. It's the secret. It's all you need. It's the key to losing weight and gaining power on the bike. You don't need any fancy sports nutrition. All you need is whole, real food. So I'm gonna show you lots of recipes, things that I'm gonna make with this. But there is no calorie restriction. There is no restriction in my diet, there is just abundance. Abundance of sweet, delicious food that is gonna help me gain five watts per kilo. Shake.